Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, da, 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 we are making some mind-blowingly, stonkingly gorgeous, yummy, tasty, just amazing uh, pulled pork quesadillas. I've actually had four of these already. I'm not gonna eat any more. They are just so, so good. Uh, we are achieving lazy, again, with our pulled pork playlist. This is using our leftover pulled pork uh, from our perfect pulled pork video. If you didn't see that one, that's the main video uh, that you need to go check out. So hit the button up there, the button, the button right up there, and that will take you to it. It is so, so good. And by slow cooking our pork shoulder like we did, it's just so easy, guys, to just chuck this together, as you'll find out now. So, guys, if you have not made the pulled pork already, uh, hit the button up there, as I say, uh, to check out the main pulled pork video, or there's more pulled pork uh, inspiration on there I'll be adding throughout this month. Uh, but if you are ready, like I have, and you've got the pulled pork ready, hit pause on the video now, write down all of the ingredients. Ah, oh, it's so good. It really is. Oh, I'm excited. I don't know why I'm excited. I've already eaten four of them, but they're good. Trust me. So we'll start with getting our tortillas and smothering over a couple of tablespoons of salsa. Barbecue sauce would also work well, but I was in a salsa kind of mood, so get that all nice and spread out. With that done, it's now a case of adding the toppings of your choice. So of course, down goes our delicious pulled pork, which we made with the paprika dry rub in our previous video. So it's simply just been stored overnight in the fridge in a container. I then added some chopped spring onion, some peppers, a nice mixture there of yellow and orange ones. Uh, it's up to you, any color will do, looking good. And a handful of grated cheese. Make sure they're nice and level before topping with another tortilla. Get your hob onto a medium flame and then place your pan down on top. Give the pan a little brush uh, with some oil and then once warm, place the tortilla in there and cook it for around three to four minutes to melt the cheese and toast the outside of the tortilla. Press it down for even cooking if you need to. Now in terms of flipping it, I pass mine out onto a plate Another plate the same size on top, flipped it over so it was, you could see that toasted side and then simply returned it to the pan and cooked it again for two minutes more again to toast the outside. Simply remove from the pan and cut into wedges with a knife serving almost immediately. The smells of the warm tortilla with the pork is fantastic. It's such a delicious easy treat and the taste of the pulled pork at the heart of them makes it a real winner. Perfect for using up those pork leftovers. Remember of course the flavours can be tweaked depending on the rubs used and the toppings of the tortilla. Oh my goodness guys, they keep looking at me, I must put them down, but I hope I've got across to you how good they are. They are just mind-blowingly good. Remember our pulled pork was made with pork shoulder. If you're buying it from the supermarket, uh, look out for a sticker that says perfect for pulled pork. You'll just get the most amazing pork in the world. Let me know down below any ideas you have for leftover pulled pork. Keep an eye on the playlist for more pork inspiration and also for more inspiration, check out lovepork.co.uk. I'll see you next time guys. All right, I'm gonna go eat one more, is that all right? Cheers.